You also look at the running back position. We've been talking about this with the holdout with Melvin Gordon, with Ezekiel Elliott. And, and, you know, running backs are the ones that probably need their contracts guaranteed more than anybody. And their, their, their careers don't last as long. They're one amongst the lowest of, of position players paid in the NFL. What happened to that position, Ron? I don't think it was just ever really a position that was valued. Um, I think the NFL, a lot of coaches and general managers kind of blackballed the position so you wouldn't have to pay guys. And it's unfortunate. But if I'm Ezekiel Elliott, you know, I don't, I don't think he's going to win this situation because he has a, he's have, has this year left, which is like three and three, not 29 million. He has next year, which is about 9 million. And then they can actually franchise him at probably about 12 or 13 million bucks. So the Cowboys, they don't have to do anything right now at this point. And the fact that, you know, the Cowboys had stuck with Ezekiel Elliott through a lot of tough times. And the fact that even his latest incident, he still has the nerve to try to hold out. I would think in good faith he would try to come back, be in training camp, work toward a championship, and hopefully a deal could be done. But I'm with Jerry Jones. I'm not breaking the bank to pay a running back. Ezekiel Elliott is a great player. But at the end of the day, Amari Cooper is far more important in my eyes for them to win a championship because of Mar- because hmm. that Prescott – needs a wide receiver. You're going to pay this guy, kid $30 million a year and just to hand the ball off? No, you need him to be able to have big plays. And we saw the impact that Amari Cooper has. So the priority list has to be Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, and then some of those guys on defense, then Ezekiel Elliott, in my belief. Yeah, see, I thought differently. I thought you got to sell the, you know, the run. So that play action is the quarterback's best friend. And if you got Zeke there, I'm going to buy into the play action far more than if I, you know, he's not there. And then that makes Amari Cooper better. So I saw it differently than you did. No, not necessarily, Dan. I, I think what you're seeing is right, but you can't pay everybody. And why would you go with a guy that potentially has basically three years left on his contract and go and pay this guy when you, you can't trust him? You can't trust the fact that he's coming off his rookie deal and he's getting in all these incidents. Imagine if you give him 60 or $70 million and you guarantee him 40 or $50 million. Can you trust that guy to do the right thing on the field, off the field, and everything that encompasses being a highly paid or the highest paid running back in the league? The Cowboys' back is not against the wall. And what he has to do, Jerry Jones has to set a precedent that, hey, you're not going to bully us into contract. Dak Prescott is the priority. Amari Cooper has to be number two. Then you look at some of the defensive players, you know, Jalen Smith, By, uh, Byron Jones, those guys need contracts. You can't just build and spend so much money at the running back position. I'll give you a prime example. Look at the Patriots. The Patriots probably have four or five running backs that's making 12 or $13 million combined. So why would you go out and spend $14, $15 million on a running back that consistently has gotten in trouble. I love Ezekiel Elliott, but the bottom line is, can the organization trust him with 50 or $60 million? And I don't think they can at this point in time. And, I, and that's the reason why I feel like they're not going to make him a priority in these negotiations. Yeah, and maybe I'm wrong. I, I wouldn't give him a lot of guaranteed money because I'd say, look, you, you put yourself in this position. We're going to extend you. We're going to pay you an average of whatever, but guaranteed money is not going to, you're going to have to earn your guaranteed money. We're not going to give that to you up front. Uh, we're going to make you earn it maybe towards the back end. That would be the way if I could approach it and say, look, we'll rip up a deal or extend your current deal. Uh, but, you know, th- these are the parameters for us. What do you think of that uh, approach? I don't think Ezekiel Elliott will. These guys, they don't want that year-to-year approach. They want guaranteed money, especially now that you see a guy like Michael Thomas, who's been a – who's been great off the field, who's been great on the field, who's done all the right things. He's never said anything. All he's done is produce. And when you get a kid like that, it's rare that you find a great player that's a good person off off the field. You always have to take care of those players. And $20 million a year, I figured that would be a, that's a great price for him. I think it's a fair deal. And, you know, but when you talk about a guy that's been up and down in trouble, coming off his rookie deal, expecting to get paid big money. The big question is, can we trust this kid as an organization to do the right thing? That if you can't trust him, you can't pay him. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.